Hi everyone, um, thank you very much for today. Um, we got in a lovely rhythm early on. The plan was to make the running because didn't like there's loads of pace in, on the paper. Turns out when we got down to start, there's quite a few lining up, but actually, as you can see through the race, they didn't actually go that quick. We went quicker. We didn't go mad gallop. We went a nice gallop the whole way, which is what we wanted because we wanted to make sure it was a stamina test because that should suit us more than the others, really. Um, he's got a nice rhythm. We've missed one down the back, but we jumped 14 fences or 16 fences on the way around. He's allowed to miss one all the way around. Um, and I've turned down the back the last time, so he's jumped beautifully at the straight then again the next time. We've turned down the back the last time and I've just given him a squeeze to go on. He's winged the first one and then I've landed out the back of the second one. I've almost been going slower than I was going into it and I gave him a squeeze, he came back onto it a bit. We jumped the next couple and all of a sudden after jumping the last down the back, they've all come past us. Now, he stopped quick enough there. I thought I'd try and bob him home. I've jumped the first in the straight. He's not jumped it very well, so I've pulled him up. And when I've pulled him up, I've not got any blood on me, but when I pulled him up, he's bled quite badly. Um, so that would explain why he stopped quickly. Now. Whether that's some after effects of obviously what the whole yard's had, it could quite easily be. It might just take him a run to get over it. Um, hopefully we can get him in good form at home. He's not shown any sign of that. He's been in great form at home. So hopefully we can get him back in a similar form and he'll just be over whatever he's got. Thank you very much.